trains. Well, get set for There Goes a Train. We'll learn about trains of all shapes and sizes. here 
These are the control hoses, and of course this one's the most important. This is the air hose. Like I told you, the air hose is what powers the brakes. Let's take a look at one of these brake cylinders. This is a brake cylinder on the, one of these engines. And as this works, the air is pumped in, pushes this lever, and that causes the brakes to clamp down on the wheels and slow the train down. Another device you may not know about is sometimes the wheels slip. There's a little squirting device that actually squirts sand onto the track and gives the train traction and creates friction so they can get up steep hills. This big car behind me is a boxcar. You'll see a lot of those on freight trains because they're used for hauling all kinds of different cargo. Now this next car up is a tanker car. You'll see a lot of those too. This particular one is full of liquefied petroleum gas. Now this gives us a good opportunity to take a close-up look at the wheels on these cars. If you look close, you'll see that that little lip there, only about an inch thick, is actually what holds the train on the track. Pretty amazing, huh? Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking we're at the airport instead of a railway yard. The fact is that tower behind us is much like the tower that they at an airport, but instead of controlling airplanes, it controls trains, and lots of them. We're at the Santa Fe Railway Yard in Barstow, California, one of the biggest railway yards in the country. So let's go in the tower and see what they do. From high above the rail yard, you can see for miles. It's from here that the controller sorts the cars. Maybe the easiest way to explain what happens in a railroad yard like this is to compare it to a giant post office. Only instead of sorting mail, they're sorting railroad cars. They call it humping because they roll them over a hump in the tracks, cut them loose, and then they actually coast down to the switches where they're switched off into the different trains and different combinations of trains. Once they're all hooked up, then they're set off all over the country. together automatically, but the air hoses have to be hooked up by people. This is a dangerous job. Once hooked together, the trains can stretch for miles and miles. Los Angeles. We're about to go board Amtrak. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Union Station is huge. It's almost a hundred years old, and it's the center for passenger rail transportation in all of Southern California. It's here where you can buy your tickets, check on departure times, and race to the platform. You don't want to be late for your train. Union Station is also the home of LA's underground subway system. And this is where you'll find Metrolink, the commuter railroad. Metrolink is designed to haul lots of people from home to work and to do it as quickly as possible. 